week to week, you're weak from uh, humility in this business. So I, you know, we got a ways to go still. We're, you know, uh, we've got a lot of our defensive guys on there, and they need to keep getting better and understanding and technique and kicker uh, doing what he needs to do always helps. So uh, it was better last week, but it'll get challenged every week. You mentioned that Saturday's game can come down to which defense is better. Is that something you think excites your players, knowing that this could be a defensive battle? That they I think, I think you ask them. I think they'll they'll, they'll be best uh, best ones to answer. Uh, but uh, as a coach, um, you know, I know I, I, that's a fact. So uh, you know that's exciting in itself. But every week's exciting. You know, the challenge to put together a plan that gives you your, your players and your team a chance to win. So. Uh, I don't think there'll be a, a real margin for error this week. But you, every year you guys seem to lead, are leading in tackles for loss across the country. What is it about your defensive scheme and the athletes you use that creates these these opportunities for these tackles? I just for think it's an aggressive philosophy. <laughs> you know, you know, hopefully, it's sound and it's disciplined, and there's technique involved, and there's uh, it's calculated and those types of things. But I th you know, we're, we're aggressive and attacking the edges. And, without being unsound and all out, so to speak. And uh, I think we teach uh, our, our, our technique with an aggression and, uh, and uh, just an just a aggressive philosophy. And, uh, uh, and I think our players like that. I mean, they get charges them up, you know, um, try to eliminate the gray area. I don't give guys too many things to have to think about or responsible for, and uh, not real big believer in a two-gap type of philosophy. And uh, you know, I think as a result, you combine that with good players that understand what the, what they're doing uh, with an aggressive mentality. Uh, you know, I think that, that leads to that you know, in result. So I think any offense is not going to be real. Um, successful if they're behind the chains, and so uh, we try to put them in that position. And uh, so it might be, it doesn't mean that you're blitzing either, you know, it might be just a, a subtle movement up front with a, a cloud coverage, make the quarterback hold the ball, and uh, you know, you're taking away some inside seams, and so you know, you get a tackle for loss or a sack. So I just, uh, I think, you know, as coaches, that uh, you know, Coaches do a, a, a terrific job of because uh, uh, all of that doesn't do any good if they don't if it's not precise and they don't have technique uh, if they don't have discipline and I think our, our coaches uh, have done just a, a fantastic job of getting our players to understand uh, what they want and, and how they want it and again uh, pad level and technique and everybody runs the rip stunt but are you doing it keeping your shoulder square and putting your eyes on the near hip and redirecting on action to you and going flat on action away and uh, you know seeing the polar and all those different things that go along with it it's not as just simple as running the end of the B gap there's more a lot more involved and uh, I think our players understand all of that that's involved and I think it's because you know we've got good teachers uh, uh, on our coaching staff and they develop them the right way. I went back and did some research and we know that that was 71 yards below us for Paul Johnson at Georgia Tech. It's also the second lowest his entire head coaching career, going back to 2002 in Navy. Do you take any personal satisfaction in that? Or is that I'm, I'm, I'm real happy for our guys. That was a uh, that was a, a very strong performance. Uh, you know, again, regardless of, of who you're playing, uh, when they hand it off that many times in a variety of ways that they do in the blocking schemes, that's a uh, a strong performance and our players uh, so often and I'm I'm the worst at uh, you know finding all the flaws and certainly there were plenty of those but uh, and then moving on to the next game and not giving them opportunity to enjoy uh, the success that they have along the way uh, on that uh, proverbial journey so it was an opportunity to take a quick pause uh, for a few minutes and, and to congratulate them and uh, tell them what a, a terrific job they did, and but remind them too. Hopefully, it validates the preparation that's involved, all the way through our last meeting, the last walkthroughs, and the, the film prep, and how demanding that it is. That's how you have that kind of success. It doesn't happen just by chance and showing up and playing, being all jacked up and playing on game day. It happens well before we get to game day. So uh, a little bit of both, you know. Throw them, uh, you know. That's, you know, we're proud of them, you know. Uh, nobody's beating our chest 
uh, but in the confines of our meeting rooms and, and uh, as uh, you know we uh, you know talk through the game and what was good and what wasn't so good you got to take a minute and look you guys that was a special performance in the big picture uh, yeah you had a couple blown coverages there uh, kind of uh, made it interesting um, but uh, you know overall that was uh, you know you felt in complete and total control uh, you know of that offense and that's yeah, not very often if ever can you feel that way against uh, you know Paul Johnson offense so Again, very humbly say all that, and uh, uh, but our players do uh, deserve some recognition. And, um, but uh, that's in the past. So uh, anyway, knowing you're going to see another run-heavy team is going to try to lull the secondary to sleep. Be, you double down on the, you know. The, yeah, the we did not play very doesn't... well against them last year. Uh, in that way, we had too many guys that were open. I think overall. They didn't score much, and I don't know how many yards they have. All that, and, you know. I think we played pretty good on third down, but overall, we, that game was a lot more. Uh, that was, you know, we could have lost that game uh, because we didn't handle uh, the play action that went along with the run game, and that was a few weeks after they had run for 400 plus yards, I think, on Southern Cal, and our guys were charged up for the run. But like anything, there's this when you have a run pass key, and it's the same guy. If he tells you pass, cover the pass. If he tells you run, you know attack the run. And, and so we we got to do a better job as a staff of getting our guys to be focused on their key, trust their key, play with the discipline that goes along with that, and understand that's that's going to be the whole attack: run, play, action, run, play, action, run, run, play, action, run, screen, you know, run, play, action. I mean the whole game. And uh, they're not just going to let us sit there and tee off on them all day. So. They do a good job of mixing things up, both personnel and formationally, and some of the motions and shifts to to uh, to challenge, you know, that discipline. Are there differences in the way you prepare players as opposed to a team like Georgia Tech that tries to do the same yeah. thing? Or? It's the same. It's all the same. You know, you just got to give them a steady dose of what you think they're going to present. This team, you know, they're not in the fly bone. Uh, Georgia Tech's easy in a lot of ways. You know, they're just not as multiple formationally. And they have a few, but uh, this team, you know, again, I think we got it down to nine personnel groups that we're preparing for. And so, out of all those different personnel groups, they get in a million different, you know, formations. So, what can you do to uh, to be multiple enough yet simple enough to to? You know, we want to stop everything. You know, we we feel like we call anything. You know, most of the time, you know, and if we don't, it's because I put them in a bad call. But most of the time, we put them in a call. We should. In our mind, in our world, our sick world we live in on defense, we should stop everything they do run and pass. We have an answer for it. So uh, some situations are more stressful than others, but uh, uh, you know, our job as coaches is to put them in successful position.